The clock ticked past midnight, the glow of my laptop screen illuminating the growing panic in my eyes. My research paper, due tomorrow morning, stared back at me, a blank page mocking my procrastination. Sound familiar? We've all been there, trapped in the seductive embrace of procrastination. It whispers sweet nothings of we have time and it won't be that bad, only to leave us drowning in stress and regret when the deadline looms large. This dance with procrastination is a familiar tango for many of us. We know we should be working but the allure of instant gratification, checking social media, watching just one more episode, or even reorganizing our sock drawer, proves too strong to resist. We choose fleeting comfort over long-term reward, a decision our future selves often lament. But why do we succumb to this self-sabotaging behavior? The answer it turns out lies in the intricate workings of our brains. Procrastination isn't simply a matter of laziness or poor time management. It's a complex interplay of emotions, motivations, and even our brain's hard wiring. At its core, procrastination is a way of coping with negative emotions associated with a task, be it fear of failure, anxiety, boredom, or a feeling of being overwhelmed. When faced with a challenging or unpleasant task, our brains, wired for survival, often perceive it as a threat. This triggers a stress response, pushing us to seek immediate relief, often in the form of more enjoyable, less demanding activities. We trade the short-term discomfort of tackling the task for the immediate reward of procrastination. This emotional hijacking explains why we can recognize the irrationality of procrastination, knowing the consequences, yet still succumb to its allure. Our emotional brain, driven by the urgency of feeling good now, often overrides the logical reasoning of our prefrontal cortex responsible for planning and decision-making. Procrastination isn't a one-time lapse in judgment, it's a slippery slope that often leads to a vicious cycle. We delay, feel guilty and stressed about the delay which further fuels our desire to avoid the task, leading to more procrastination. This cycle feeds on itself, creating a vortex of negative emotions and poor productivity. Imagine this, you have a presentation due next week. Instead of starting early, you push it aside, telling yourself you'll have more time later. Days turn into nights, and the looming deadline brings a wave of anxiety. This anxiety makes it even harder to focus, so you seek solace in distractions, further delaying the inevitable. The cycle continues, leaving you feeling overwhelmed and ill-prepared on presentation day. This cycle highlights the insidious nature of procrastination. While it offers temporary relief from negative emotions, it ultimately exacerbates them in the long run, leading to increased stress, decreased self-esteem, and a sense of being trapped in our own inertia. Section 4. The Brain Under Stress, Avoidance versus Action To understand why we fall into the procrastination trap, we need to delve into the brain's response to stress. When we perceive a threat, in this case a daunting task, our amygdala, the brain's emotional center, sounds the alarm. This triggers the release of stress hormones like cortisol, preparing our bodies for a fight-or-flight response. While this response served us well in our evolutionary past, helping us escape from predators, it's less helpful when facing a deadline. Instead of fighting or fleeing, we freeze, seeking immediate comfort by avoiding the source of stress, the task itself. This is where the prefrontal cortex, responsible for planning, decision-making, and emotional regulation comes into play. However, under high stress, the amygdala can hijack the prefrontal cortex, impairing our ability to think clearly and make rational decisions. We become more reactive, choosing short-term comfort over long-term goals. Section 5. Trapped in the Procrastination Web. Who is most susceptible? While procrastination is a common human experience, some individuals are more prone to its clutches than others. Certain personality traits, such as low self-esteem, fear of failure, and perfectionism, can fuel the procrastination fire. Individuals with low self-esteem might doubt their abilities, fearing judgment and criticism. This fear of failure can lead them to avoid tasks altogether, procrastinating as a defense mechanism. Perfectionists, on the other hand, might get bogged down by the pressure to perform flawlessly, delaying tasks until they feel they can achieve their impossibly high standards. Furthermore, the perception of a task's difficulty can significantly impact our likelihood of procrastinating. Studies have shown that when we perceive a task as overwhelming or challenging, our stress levels rise, making us more likely to delay. It's crucial to remember that procrastination isn't a sign of laziness. 
it's often a symptom of deeper struggles with self-doubt, anxiety, or unrealistic expectations. Recognizing these underlying factors is crucial to developing effective strategies for overcoming procrastination. Thank you for watching. If you found these tips helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more science-based tips.